Night of the Hot Hoagie. Every night, chest out, face shiny, Brigade Sergeant Samuel L. Silverman bursts into my room. 10 p.m., hunger hour, while I stand, eyes forward, gut in, shoulders back, quivering like I have palsy. Sergeant Silverman sniffs around for a Philly-style hoagie sandwich, cheesesteak, shrimp, salad, hamburger, Italian. He opens drawers, looks in coat pockets, lifts up blankets and, sheet, and sheets. When he finds a hoagie, confiscates half, declaring R-H-I-P, rank has its privileges. As the big knot in his throat works itself up and down, and half my precious sandwich disappears down his gullet. Fed up with being ripped off, I order an Italian flamethrower from Fran and Nan's hoagie shop. Prosciutto, salami, and provolone. All three layers larded with Tabasco, Louisiana hot sauce, and cherry peppers. The next evening, Sergeant Silverman burst into my room, picking up the scent of hoagie. I make no attempt to hide it. After the first few bites, Sarge roars and runs off to the latrine where he latches his lips around the cold water faucet. <laughs> I became a hero in the, of, my, of my freshman class for that. And my next poem comes from my collection, A Blanquito in El Barrio, which translate, r translates roughly as a white boy in Spanish home. Years 1969. The Interview. It's a night dark November morning. I'm at the bottom of a stairway somewhere in the South Bronx at a drug program called Logos. My face has an orange sheen like axle grease. I shiver from the icy drafts blowing through my golf jacket, the only outer, outer garment I own. My bony ass is sore from sitting on a wooden bench. I want to split, but remember, ripping off students' books while they sat in the cafeteria selling my father's stamp collection, ODing on a rooftop, carried down by dope fiends, arms pinned behind my back, hands tearing at my wallet, my shirt, my shoes. I think about waking up with red ants in my marrow, racing to the toilet, vomit running through my nose, the wad of shit in my throat. Two hours go by. I'm faint, vision blurred. I want to leave, but Nilsa warned me, no more chances. If I don't get into Logos, she's gone for good. I hear whispers, laughter, the echo of a piano and vibraphone, a voice singing, Raton, El Raton. People go up and down the stairs, staring at me. I ask somebody for a smoke, and they look away. Finally, a man comes, sheared hair, missing teeth. Follow me, he says. What took so long, I ask? We're a family here. We want to see how bad you want to get in. <laughs> At the interview, interview, I tell a woman with a scar across her face how I'd done social work in East Harlem. I tell a black man with an eye patch how I lost my moorings. I tell an Italian guy with a withered hand I can't take it anymore. The woman shouts, liar, loser. The black guy calls me a racist. The Italian says I'm a white Uncle Tom. The interviewers stand up, leave the room. I have no money, no place to go. I debate running out the door, throwing myself under a bus. I hear the branches bang against the windows. It's beginning to rain. In two days, it will be Thanksgiving. Wow. wow.